this is me and welcome to episode three of the stable renovation series so yes today is the day that the stable extension is coming in in the last episode we painted all of the stables but we do have a little bit more painting to do in this episode because obviously the new stable block's coming so we need to paint that to match um so far i think it's looking so good i'll do a little sneak peek of um this side of the wall even though it's going to be covered we decided to paint it just in case because the extra stable block is going to be a tiny bit lower um, but look how cute it is with the white trim i think it's looking so smart but anyway this morning i have been so busy i've been up at the crack of dawn to do all the horses get them out do a makeshift electric fence so they're not going to be in the way of all of the construction also while they've been in this area they have decided to poo to get mud all over the concrete where the stable's gonna be, uh, which wasn't great. So I had to get up early to move all the poo away. I even had to get some water to try and wash some of the pooey bits off. So um, if I'm looking a little bit tired, that is why, because um, they are coming here at eight o'clock this morning. So it's very early. I've already done so much. I am tired out from doing all that. I've had to do a lot of sweeping, but anyway, they should be here soon. So I'll be back with you guys when they start the building. I always learn in the hardest of times to search for light. It's easy to turn to the darkness in my mind, but I'll be alright. Try and fly, but I only ever get so high. I will never give up my fight, even if it burns all night. I can feel. day and the new stable block is up it's right here behind me but before I show you and give you a little sneak peek I just wanted to say a huge thank you to every single one of you for watching my videos if it wasn't for you guys this project wouldn't have been possible I wouldn't have been able to afford the new stable block I probably wouldn't be able to even have Joey if it wasn't for you guys so I just want to say a huge thank you because it does really mean so much to me um, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour of what it looks like at the moment it's not quite finished yet because as you can see this stable block is pine and the rest is gray and that's actually one of the main reasons why I decided to paint the stable block because if not that would be a really dark brown wood and this is obviously a fresh new pine and it wouldn't it wouldn't quite look right you know it would take a while for it to look like it was all part of one yard if that makes sense so I thought if I paint everything it looks like it's been here the stable block the whole time and nobody will know but anyway I thought I'd show you what I have each side in a little bit more detail. I know I've talked about it in other videos, but here we have the brand new stable. So it's right next to Casper's. If we give it a little open up. A lot of people have asked me what I'm gonna be using this as. All I'm gonna say is that for now it's gonna be storage. It could be a stable one day. 
I don't know, we will see um, if that's going to be the distant future or not too long, I don't know, but for now it's going to be storage for shavings and for haylage, but I thought I'd show you guys inside while it's now nice and new. So here we have it, very cool, very airy, it's the exact same size and shape as the boys is next door, so same as Casper's, Mickey's, Joey's is obviously a bit of a bigger stable, but um, it's all pretty much exactly the same. It has the same window, so they can all look out and have the same view, um, even though it's going to be storage for now. It's going to be storage. It's going to be storage, Esme. Um, we also have the translucent roof sheet up here as well, so it's nice and airy, which is really important because if not, you're gonna have a quite dark and dingy stable. Translucent roof sheets, very important. So if we go next door, we have the wash bay. So you might be wondering, Esme, why are there these planks here? So we actually have these here because in case I want the horses to be free range, so they can go in their stables if they want to, they can go in the field if they want to. I don't want them going in here, messing it up, you know, also, I feel like it's going to be a whole separate video, getting the whole wash bay done and sorted. Although I was like, okay, it'll be probably like a three-part series. I feel like there are going to be so many other parts to this series that are going to be coming on later, probably not until the summer. I don't know how long it's going to take, because obviously we have the whole tack room renovation that we're going to be doing. And also this wash bay, it is not complete yet. We don't have, well, we have a water pipe, but we don't have a hose pipe in here yet. The solarium isn't here yet. We need some mats that need to go in here I want to decorate it as well I want to have like a wall with all of my shampoos grooming brushes everything I need to make sure that my horses are not covered in poo and mud um, so that's gonna be a whole separate project I think because that's gonna take a while but yeah here we have the wash bay again the exact same size as the stable these can come down I think I'm gonna get cross ties I think that would be really nice so then baby Joey he does like to wiggle a little bit um, if he doesn't have a haylage net, if he has a haylage net, he's fine standing still, but if he doesn't, he like moves his butt round to the left, to the right, not because he's like moving away from me, but he just, he's a bit of a baby, a bit of a fidgeter, he, he's always got something he wants to look at or sniff or do, so it would just mean it'd be a better, more controlled environment, so um, I think that would be really nice. Um, we also have a little, if I, well, I'll take you guys inside and you can have a little look. Shimmy on under here. So I'd show you the inside. This wall, not gonna lie, looks a little bit ugly because it's got all the writing on. So I don't know if I want to paint in here or not. We will see. Maybe like do half dark with light at the top because that's very, I feel like that's a very British thing to have in stables, but I don't know. We will see what I decide. Here we have, have the water. We have the good old pipe here, so we need to sort that out. Um, I also would really like to have warm water for the horses, so it does mean I can give them lovely warm baths in the winter, because in the winter, having three greys, I, I don't think I could do another winter, guys. It, it is absolutely soul destroying, but we have a wash bay now, so hopefully that will, that will save me. But um, we also have a little gap here at the bottom, which we purposely have left, because it means when I'm scrub-a-dub-dubbing the horses, get my broom, sweep, 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 water goes down there into the drain, problem solved, no flooding um, wash bay. So I am very excited to do all this up because I feel like this is one of those projects It's just gonna go on forever. There's always something that needs doing, but no, this will be very cool. But um, we're not quite done yet. We have a lot more to do. We have to paint the outside so it matches and I feel like it's gonna look so satisfying when it's all done, when all the stables are pretty. You guys haven't even seen like the proper other side of the stables painted either, so you don't really know what it looks like, which is exciting. So yeah, I'm gonna go and grab some paint. I do have my paint stuff on. That is why I'm wearing my bomb potato outfit. But yeah, time to get painting again. All right, so all these lovely shiny fixings have just been put on, but you know what we've got to do? We've got to take them off again because we've got to paint it and I don't really want to paint around these because if not, I just know I am such a mucky pup. I'm going to get paint all over them and that would not be good. So time to take them off. Ah! Oh no, we can't lose you into the bucket. Woo, that was flying in my face. Last 
track of the forest through the trees forgot what I was chasing spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant and everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land so now I'm driving back on in the state west I just gotta feel something not gonna wait till the morning because something's gonna change my mind I don't want to change my mind Oh, I want to stay right here, right here Chilling with my friends for another year I would walk away from the spotlight For the good life oh, Come on, turn your hate into poetry Pain into power And I need some friends And your minutes into hours I would walk away from the spotlight For the good life For the good life my best friend an apologetic text he says to come over well the whole damn town has been waiting for the day when you would come back here, back here. there was dancing and talking and steaks on the grill and i think that i will be all right and my ex from high school still looks just the same as she did back in 2009 i couldn't wait till the morning let's never put the night on night Never put the night on ice Oh, I wanna sit right here, right here Chilling with my friends for another year Alright guys, this is what the stable is looking like currently. It has its first coat of the tundra colour on it. Um, obviously down the bottom there, I think round the edge of the wash bay, I might do it in white, I feel like that would look really smart. Just add a pop of something else. I also need to paint the inside of the stable doors in the darker grey, but so far not looking too bad it's starting to you can kind of see it and be like oh my gosh that's what it's going to look like when it's done not quite done yet but i'm very pleased with it all right guys it's now the next day and we have finally finished painting the stables it's looking so good but we're not quite finished yet because if you guys know me I like to add my little finishing touches make it my own so as you guys already know i have these horseshoes that were on the horses stables all in their sort of color so i have everything color coordinated so i know that's joey's bucket or that's mickey's so uh, joey's green um casper's purple and mickey is blue so these need a little bit of tlc they need a little bit of help because um i think they need a little extra extra coat the problem that i have is is that when I painted these, I made up these exact colors. So I'm gonna try and make the exact colors again um, to try and match their nameplates. Joey's, I think, is the only one that is the exact color that was in the tin. But we're not just doing that, guys. We're not just doing that. I have so many horseshoes here. I have been collecting these for years and years now. I, my farrier is very kind. He lets me keep all of my shoes. So I have a lot. And I was thinking, we have the rose gold horseshoes where I film my like sit down videos and we also have them in the feed room. But I'm thinking we go a little bit different. I was thinking rose gold could be cute, but how about we shake things up a little bit? I know you're gonna, you guys are gonna be, gonna be shocked when I say this. We're not going colorful today. I'm thinking we paint them black because with the gray stables, we have these little um, black hooks that we've put on, which looks so fancy. And I'm thinking, so it's not too colorful, just like a little pop of something else. Black horseshoes. I think that will look really classy, really sleek, and just a little, little something. So because we are using this bad boy, who is pretty impressive, um, I'm gonna put on <laughs> my goggles because I do not want any of the little bits of metal flying into my face or into my eyes but also don't want my hair getting stuck in that so it's not gonna be Esme anymore you guys have got egg me I'm going to egg mode there we go tuck it all behind how do I look guys good okay so my ear protection is now on whoa that is such a difference in what I can hear um, I'm now putting on these are actually bike gloves 
They're Max's. Don't tell him. We're currently in the workshop that you guys would have seen in Bike vs. Horse. Um, this is where we have all of the power tools and bike stuff and things. Anyway, here we go. Kind of nervous, but should be fine. I've done this so many times before, but I just feel like it's such a, if it's like a, it feels like I'm holding a lethal weapon here. Probably is one. So um, you've got to be careful. So while the black horseshoes are drying up at the yard, it's now time to do the colourful ones. So I'm going to do green first because that is going to be the easiest because that is the exact same colour, which is awesome. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a paint. Oh my goodness, guys. This is looking so much better. Whoa, look at that. It's good as new. Okay, now this is the tricky part because I've got to make this blue. Now this blue I remember being difficult to make, but it is very pretty blue. So I'm going to put the teeniest amount. There we go. That is enough. That is probably too much. Um, let's scoop a little bit back. Nobody saw that, guys. You might be thinking, Esme, you're making blue but you're using green. Now that is because I am really having to do some <laughs> colour theory here because the blue we have is navy. Now this navy is very different to the turquoisey tealy blue that we have here. So let's get some of this out. Oh my gosh, these pots of paint are so old. I don't care how long I will stop okay, now for the white. Not gonna lie guys, this paint does not look very healthy. It looks like when you've left a yogurt in the fridge too long. Um, it feels like rice pudding. Oh, there we go. That is honestly the smallest amount I could get out, but that's such a pretty color. That's like sage. We need a bit more blue in that, but we're close. I'm just so happy I had you. The morning's near and still, I can tell you how I feel. Okay, I think I'm gonna call that a day. I think that's a pretty good match. You guys know I know my matchy matchy colors. I have matched that almost perfectly. If I do say so myself, I am happy with that. All right, so next is purple. Now purple, I remember taking me for absolutely ever last time because it was very difficult to make with the colors we have. I feel like it needed to be a little bit more pinky. So I'm just gonna mix all the colors that we have to make it a little bit more bluey. This is definitely a trust the process. We barely have any red left. It's, it's coming out. It's a little, a little slower, but it's, it's on its way. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. There we go. It's looking a lot better. I don't, it's not the exact same. A little droplet. Let's see now. You know what? I'm happy with that. It's not the exact same, but you know what? I was looking at Casper's nameplate and I feel like the purple's a little bit more pinky anyway. So I, I reckon that's not too bad. I'd say that's like a mushroom purple. It's actually a really pretty purple, I'm not gonna lie. But I reckon that will that will do. That will it'll have to do because <laughs> I don't want to add too much blue and then it just look blue. Alright guys, welcome to this is me garden. Yes, we have this is me kitchen. Now we have this as me garden with the greenhouse behind me um, where these beautiful flowers have been kept for the last few days. So not too long ago, I actually went to my local garden center, had a lot of fun actually. It felt like a day trip out with um, what life is like at the moment. But I thought, you know, if we're gonna go all the way with the new stables, with the painting, with the extension, with the horseshoes, how about the icing on the cake? We have, some hanging baskets. So I decided when I went to my local garden center 
because there were lots of different coloured flowers there, and I know in traditional hanging baskets, usually ones that you find outside like village pubs in the UK, they have lots of different colours. Now, I feel like me, I'm a very colourful per person, but it's got to go with the matchy-matchy. It can't be too clashy. And I was like, what colour would look nice all the time? So obviously I went with white. White goes with everything. Good basic colour. But I thought, you know what? It's going to look a little bit too boring if it's just white. You've got to add a little, little something to it. So I thought, you know what? We'll go for these pink flowers. They're kind of like a coral pink. They're so pretty. I don't want it to be too grain boring and also the one of the main reasons why i thought you know what hanging baskets this is the one these gray hanging baskets i found are so nice so it's made of this um, rattan material it's got polythene on the inside so i'm going to be making up the hanging baskets myself because i was like you know what we're gonna do pick a mix pick my own flowers put them in there this is very exciting for me don't know if it will be for you guys but i just think it will look so pretty It'd be like my little fairy dream horse yard. Just gonna put a little bit more in. I have my compost here. Let's go. I'm just gonna probably fill it up like almost halfway and then start putting the flowers in. This is my first time making hanging baskets. So if it looks a bit questionable, don't judge. We will just see how it goes. I don't know, I think we can fit four in because when I went to the garden center, I was like, you know what? I want to make sure that the flowers are already out because we have a photo shoot with Pony Mag on the day I'm filming this in two days time and it's almost the end of today and I only have one day to prepare which is tomorrow so um, it's a little bit last minute but it will be fine and I thought you know what we want the flowers to be in bloom for when Pony are here and obviously they still have quite a few buds left which is nice so they won't just suddenly go in a few weeks time um, so I'm going to have to take this out of the pot okay this is me garden is definitely like this is me kitchen. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's fine. Oh, there we go. You can see all the little cute roots. Okay, so here we have a dianthem, I think. There we go. I'm just gonna pop her there for now. I'm gonna take them out of the pots, put them in, and then when I put the soil in, kind of decide where I want them to go. So I think two pink, two white. That could work, that could work. There, that, that's looking good. Obviously I need to put more soil in and actually bury them. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna get me compost. Get them all in nicely. All right, so I managed to fit four in. I'm not gonna lie, it's looking so good. We've had a few frosts recently, so I'll pop this in the greenhouse just in case it's frosty tomorrow morning but I reckon when they're hanging up there, it's gonna look so cute. I'm just gonna hope the horses don't eat them. We are gonna hang them high enough that they're not gonna eat them and they're not gonna be out when they're wandering around the yard. So hopefully you're not gonna be Mickey's lunch. But no, very cute, I love it. I have now finished doing the last hanging basket and they are looking so cute. I love it. But anyway, um, I think that's the last sort of thing I need to do before the big reveal, the stable tour. So I'll see you guys when it's time for that. Never knew a moment could feel so right, could slow down time like this. Everything I needed is in your eyes and in your mind Maybe it's crazy to fall so soon Give it all to you, hey, hey. But I don't care what they say Please promise me you'll stay Cause I'm not going Anywhere. Today is the day guys, I am finally filming the stable reveal. So like most DIY shows or home renovation shows, I have decided to dress up today because I feel like in the shows that like, everyone's wearing their like barn potato outfit, you know, they've 
all the construction gear, painting outfits, and then it's like, bam, the final reveal. So I have dressed up for you guys. I am literally wearing a dress. So appreciate this, because this is a big moment for the channel. Um, so anyway, there, it has probably taken me actually two weeks to do just the painting. And obviously we had the pressure washing and cleaning before that. We had all of the sanding down and my arm, my arm is still aching from the painting. It took so long and paint is pretty expensive. I found that out the hard way and there was a lot to paint with the stables. Um, we also had the extension put in as well. And I just like to say another huge thank you to you guys because you are the reason I have been able to do all of this. I've been so lucky to take you guys along with this journey. So it's been very exciting. I know it's kind of sad because it is the last episode of the stable renovation series, but we're not quite finished yet. So we've got the tack room, we've got the feed room, we've got the storage room, and we have the wash bay that I'm gonna take you guys over to now, which all need the insides um cleaning renovating organizing so that's going to be a whole new video maybe a whole new series i don't know if you guys want me to call it the tack room renovation series or the stable renovation series series two i don't know let me know in the comments below but anyway without further ado let me give you a bit of a tour all right so i have never done a barn tour on my channel before and I feel like because you guys kind of know what everything looks like it would be kind of boring because you've seen it all in the vlogs before but um, because it's so different I thought I'd do a little bit of a whistle stop tour showing you everything so um, here we have the currently empty wash bay there's nothing in there apart from a few pipes for example we have a pipe here that will one day be a tap not quite a tap yet also in the wash bay there is so much to do because obviously we need to put the taps in i want to have all of my grooming kits hanging across organizing all of my shampoos on like a wall or maybe on some shelves make it all pretty and very me if you know what i mean i love to decorate things I love everything to look very aesthetic. So that's the plan for the wash bay. We have these wooden planks up at the moment in case the horses want to accidentally get in here without us being here. So um, that's sort of like a safety precaution. I also decided to paint this a darker color because I thought, you know what? It's a little bit different, a little bit more out there, just a pop of something different to make it look really cute. It also matches the stable doors up here, which I'll show you in a second. And if we come over here, we have the extra stable slash extra storage area. So I don't want to be one of those mysterious YouTubers because I have had so many questions about this. What's going to go in here? And I want to be honest with you guys. I don't know. I can tell you what it's going to be for now. For now, it's going to be hay, haylage, maybe a place to store extra things, maybe dry out rugs in here. So it's gonna be storage for now. I don't know how long it will be until it's an extra stable. We'll just have to see what happens. Um, but yeah, that is going to be the storage room. And then if we come over here, so up here should look a little bit more familiar to you because this was the original stable block. We have the new one that I've just shown you. But here we have Caspi. This is his stable. As you would know from before, we still have his original nameplate and horseshoe. So what I actually decided to do was for the um, inside of the stable door and also for the top door as well. I've done it in a darker gray. I think it looks really nice because it's just got a little pop of something else, um, but also this is a much more practical colour. As you can see, even here, we've got a bit of Caspi's slobber stains. He's having a nice little nap here at the moment, I think. You look very tired, Caspi. Okay, I'll see you later. Carry on with the tour. We have the hose pipe. Now, this isn't just any hose pipe. If you have one of these, you will know how special and amazing they are. Oh, Caspi. Caspi has actually licked quite a lot of the hose pipe, so I didn't think that's his new favourite licking spot, but... Look at it. Not only is it one that you can wind up, which is so useful, it's also gray. It matches, guys. I have a matchy-matchy hose pipe. It doesn't get much better than that. So if we move on, we have some beautiful hanging baskets up here as well that, as you guys know, I made myself. Um, then if we come over here, we have another very sleepy pony. Hi, Mickey. 
it's that time in the evening where they all just get really chilled and they just kind of sit there sleepy. They've all had their dinner, so they're probably all digesting that. But again, this is Mickey's stable. He hasn't actually got it too dirty. He does like to scratch on here. So um, hopefully the paint doesn't come off too much here because that is his sort of scratchy spot. Yeah. Then if we come over here, we have the lovely Joey. Yes. Oh, thank you for the licks. You might not want to eat my dress though because I don't usually wear clothes this nice to the horses, so I feel very like, please don't, oh gosh, he just went and licked me, just as I was about to say, please don't lick me, but you can lick my hands. As you guys know, this is Joey's favorite licking spot. He still licks it, so um, we've come to the conclusion that it's not because of the flavor, because obviously the flavor has changed since it's been painted. Don't worry guys, it is safe for him to lick it, so don't worry about that. Also, I think that Joey's nameplate and horseshoe really pops with the gray. It looks so good. So that is Joey's stable. Then over here, we have the tack room, soon to be the new feed room. So don't worry, I'm gonna film the whole process of um, changing all that up inside. That's why I'm not gonna show you inside because that is gonna be coming soon. And then lastly, we come to the feed room that's going to be the new tack room. So I am so excited for changing everything up in there again. It's gonna be a lot of work for me, a lot of DIY, but it's definitely gonna be worth it in the end. Just like the stables look now, they look so different, but I love it. Um, also, I have put the black horseshoes on here, which um, matches all the metal work. I just think it looks so cute. So anyway, guys, that pretty much is the tour of the stables, the big stable reveal. Let me know if you like it in the comments below because I was kind of nervous. I was like, I hope people don't just like suddenly really hate it and don't like what I've done. But I do think it makes it look like a brand new stable, like it's just been built rather than it being an old one that we've had for a good couple of years. So that concludes the end of the stable renovation series one. Series one for now, guys. Lots more exciting stuff coming this summer as I've already said, but before today's video ends, I'd just like to say another huge, huge thank you to all of you guys for watching my videos because you are the reason that the stables look like this. I really do hope that you guys like it because it has been a lot of work for myself. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Oh,